Hi and welcome. In today's video, I will show you how to define persistent volume in OpenShift Local, the so-called code-ready containers. CRC allows developers to run full OpenShift cluster locally, enabling fast, cost-effective testing and development in an isolated environment. In many cases, developers need to test applications that use persistent volumes. By default, in code-ready containers, a default persistent volume is installed. This volume is typically used by application like the image registry and is automatically selected when you try to claim a volume. However, usually developers require a dedicated volume that persists on the host machine for their applications. So we will see how to create and use a persistent volume linked to the host machine. First, we need to create storage class after that, we define a persistent volume with that storage class. And finally, we define a persistent volume claim by specifying the same storage class as in the persistent volume. Otherwise, it will use the default one, as the default volume might not meet the requirement since it is primarily managed with the CRC, VM and tied to specific purposes, like the image registry. So this is the UI to the local cluster. I am logged as administrator. And if we take a look on the available storage, we see that CRC creates by default one storage. And as you see, it is already bound and used by the image registry storage. And if we check the definition as YAML file, we see that the storage class is this one. So the first thing we need to do is to create new storage class. If we list that, this is the default one. Whenever you create new volume, it will be of this type. So we create a storage. We can give it any name, manual storage class, for example. And this is the reclaim policy. We use retain. And this is the volume binding mode. We will use immediate. It means that whenever we define persistent volume claim, it will be bound. Provisioner is the important configuration. So these are the available types. So we will use no provisioner because we will provide by ourselves the path to our disk. Now we need to define our persistent volumes. This so I already prepared definition. So by default, it is using network file system. In our case, we need only to link or to use a directory from the host machine. So I prepared this one. This is my definition. We can pass it here. And as you see, this is the name of our storage. We can use label. So there is no need for that. Storage one gigabyte. And this is the most important one. So this is the storage class. And here is the host pad. This is on my local laptop. So the data will be saved under this pad. So let's create. And as you see, it has been created and with status available. Now we need to create a persistent volume claims. So here, let's create one. And this is the important things. Storage class, the available ones are this or this. So we will choose the new one. Let's give it this name. So the only possible value in CRC is single user. The size, for example, one gigabyte. We will not use any label and we create. And once created, we can check here. It is now bound. This means that now we are ready to use this volume. So let's create one port. I prepared this deployment file. So this deployment is creating a port based on this Docker image, Alpine, and it is just writing some text to this path. So however, the important things here is this definition. So first here we define a mount. This is the name of my mount and this is the pad. This is inside the container. However, volumes and this is the most important things. The name is the same as the volume mount. However, you need to tell OpenShift to use persistence volume scheme. And this is the same as created previously. So let's apply this file. But before doing that, let's check the path on my local machine. So it is empty. Now we go back and we apply the deployments file. 
and as you see the deployment has been created we can check here and the deployment so deployment is now there just created and in the pod we see that the pod is also running and we can check whether it has logged on the local machine so let's go back here and as you see this information has been just created so this was the way how to create persistent volume on crc i hope it was helpful thanks for watching and bye